What's up guys, Epic Gaming Live here and today we are doing my first legendary and my first weapon review for Destiny. So this might not be the best review but I'm going to try to increase the quality of these reviews. So today we are doing Swordbreaker. Swordbreaker is a legendary shotgun obtainable only by defeating Crota on Crota's end on normal difficulty. This gun does 69 to 70 damage per pellet to tier 1 enemies and 182 to tier 2 enemies. In Crucible, this gun does 17 to 19 damage per pellet. Okay, we're going to get to the upgrades, and first of all, we're going to start with the muzzle upgrades. First, we have Smooth Ballistics. Smooth Ballistics is the best perk for this tree, or well, perk tree, due to its low recoil stat. There's a small penalty to range, but that can easily be, easily be made up with the Hammer Forge perk. Uh, that's going to be shown off in the second tree for this uh, gun. Accurized Ballistics and Field Choke really isn't worth it because it's not, it's a terrible, like the stability itself isn't too good on this gun even though it's like pretty high for shotgun, but you don't want to take this risk because you know, it's huge stability sacrifice for little range and impact boost, so you probably shouldn't go with that, so Smooth Ballistics is the way to go for this shotgun. Next we have our perk, Grenadier. Grenadier is really helpful due to the recent update that increased the damage for shotguns up to 100%. You can easily get about 6 shots and then get your grenade almost back. You can mix this in with armor that has high discipline. Then you can essentially uh, get grenades every 20 seconds or so. So really good perk for this gun. Next we're going to get into the next perk tree with the Flared Magwell Hammer Forged and Lightweight perks. Flared Magwell um, isn't really, I mean it isn't really useful because the reload is already pretty fast for this gun and pretty fast for a shotgun. You won't, you also won't really need this perk because, you know, with shotguns, you really want to get the highest range possible with this gun, but you also want to have good stability and uh yeah so it's really not useful i mean if you want to you can just play around with it if it's useful in some situations where there's a lot of enemies you could probably go for it but we're gonna get into our next perk hammer forge hammer forge is great for this shotgun increasing the rage by more than half for this shotgun this is the perk you want for this perk tree it really is um as you see flared magwell it increases the reload and range is taken down by half but Hammer Forge increases that range almost by half and it is great for taking out enemies at longer ranges. Not really long ranges, but ranges that can reach outside of the shotgun. So it's pretty good Hammer Forge. And Lightweight, I mean as a hunter, I don't really need to use this because my agility is already up. But if you're a Titan or a Warlock with like slower agility, maybe you can use this. But it really isn't recommended since you want to get the most range out of this gun. Next we have the final round perk, it is great due to the shotgun update, the last shot deals a lot of damage now, it increases the damage uh, to tier 1 enemies from to 93 to 92 and on tier 2 enemies to 243, that is really big for this gun, really good for the sword breaker and uh, this, this is a really sh good shotgun that deals out a lot of damage now. Overall, the Swordbreaker is one of the best shotguns in the game with its high damage output and great range for a shotgun. It's very good and I use this all the time in Crucible. I definitely recommend using the material that maxes this gun out. So get the Swordbreaker, play Crota a bunch on all three of your characters if you don't have it yet. Just get the Swordbreaker and max it out immediately because this gun is amazing. So that's it for this, uh, my first legendary review. Tell me how I did on this review in the comment section below. Uh, tell me how I can improve this review, make it a little bit more in-depth, I guess. Um, just, just give, leave feedback down in the comment section below on how I can review, well, better review these guns. Uh, yet again, this is my first one, so I'm just looking for as, as much feedback as I can get. So... Hope you enjoyed this review. Remember, like, comment, and subscribe for more to support this channel and to see more videos. Peace out.